30 winters ago, the war tore a hole in the sky. Only a few survived. Our only hope is in my hands. Take off the pack, nice and slow. Put that hand on me again, you won't get it back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of The Book of Eli. Denzel Washington kicks ass as a mysterious road warrior toting the world's last copy of the Bible across a post-apocalyptic North America in the never-boring The Book of Eli. Washington's Eli, a cross between Clint Eastwood's man with no name, Mel Gibson's road warrior, and Mormon founder Joseph Smith, has spent the 30 years after a cataclysmic war walking towards the East Coast in the hopes of recreating civilization using his battered copy of the King James Version. Expertly wielding a sword to pick his way through pillaging and raping marauders, Eli stops at a ruined town where he encounters another old-timer, the garrulous gang boss Carnegie, played by Gary Oldman. Carnegie covets Eli's Bible so he can use it to refashion the world on his own avaricious terms. Mila Kunis of Forgetting Sarah Marshall is miscast as her equally hot daughter, sort of an end-of-days valley girl fascinated by stories of the pre-apocalyptic days, and attaches herself to an unwilling Eli as his traveling companion. The used twins have an unusually persuasive star in Washington, who can sell lines like, we had more than we needed, and I walk by faith, not by sight. Will the Bible Belt embrace the brutally violent the Book of Eli? Well, look at the passion of the Christ. So I'm giving the Book of Eli two and a half stars. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com.